イココ。Welcome back to Hi Coco's channel. Just early this week, we dropped a newly launched makeup brand, Lily by Red. Lily by Red have captured our beauty's attention. I'm pretty sure so many of our beauties already have seen this lovely packaging on random Instagram feed. So in today's video, I thought it would be really fun to sit down and get ready with you while trying all the different products from Lily by Red. And of course, showing all the different shades of each item too. I love their packaging and how they curate the colors. Especially, I'm too excited to show you the newly launched product from Lily by Red, which is the Mood Keyboard Eye Palette. So let's get started. I've got my foundation base ready to go. So let's move on to the eye makeup. To frame my face, eyebrow are the must. For the eyebrows, I've got two different products from Lily by Red. One is Lily by Red Skinny Mask Brow Pencil, and another one is Brow Mascara. I have to sketch my eyebrows with the pencil first. You know how I love the thin brow pencils? It's really easy to draw and easy to create the texture of the eyebrows. This is very thin eyebrow pencil, which is 1.5 millimeter. And of course, it comes with the spoolie, which is really handy when you like brush out your brows before you draw. And it's kindly indicate which one is a pencil side and which one is spoolie side. There are four different shades. Number one, light brown. Number two, medium brown. Number three, dark brown. Number four, gray brown. Comes with the light brown to the dark brown with a bit of gray. Today, I think I better go with number three, dark brown. This eyebrow pencil has a very small 1.5 millimeter lead. So you can really draw your each brow hair clean and neat and you can also create a very natural look. Surprisingly, this eyebrow pencil comes with the sebum powder, which means it can control oil throughout the day. So I think this eyebrow pencil is perfect for someone who has got the oily teeth on like me or if you're sweating a lot. And next, to create more volumes to my eyebrows, I will add a brow mascara from Lily by Red. This is Skinny Mask Brow Mascara. So once you coat your eyebrows with eyebrow mascara, you can get more colors and it will long last. The Lily by Red Skinny Mask Brow Mascara comes with four different shades just like eyebrow pencil. So if you're not too sure which color you should choose, you can just match the colors. Or if you want to lighten up a little bit, you can go one shade lighter than your eyebrow pencil. I use number three for my eyebrow pencil, so I will try number two for eyebrow mascara, which is medium brown. This brow mascara has a clump free formula, so no matter how many times I brush it through my hairs, it doesn't clump up. And it also doesn't dry down to a very stiffy, so I can create very natural eyebrow look. If you are not really good at drawing your eyebrows, or if you have a really thick and very bush eyebrow hairs, you can skip the eyebrow pencil and you can just use eyebrow mascara by itself. And next up is the most fun part of today's video, which is Mood Keyboard Eye Palette. Their packaging is so cute. It looks like a keyboard and they are kindly indicate the name of the each shade at the back of the packaging, but unfortunately it's all in Korean. There are three different shades. Number one, Ash Cinnamon. Number two, Ash Mauve. Number three, Ash Beige. Number one, Ash Cinnamon. This palette is filled with different shades of warm browns. And there is a bit of like orange based brown as well. So I think it's perfect for warm tone beauties. Two different types of sparkles inside of the palette, like snowy champagne colors, and another one is light brown coral. And number two, Ash Moth. It's a cool tone brown palette with hint of moth colors. And Ash Beige is a neutral medium tone brown, which is perfect for everyday use and any skin tones. And you can also use some of the shades for the contouring your face shapes. 
There are a few interesting facts of this keyboard eyeshadow palette. So the first thing is the dome shape. So each eyeshadow comes in a dome shape, so it won't fall out. And most of the eyeshadows are matte finish. It's very fine powder, so it sticks on your eyes and it won't fall out that much. And another interesting feature is the sparkles. Each palette comes with two types of sparkles. And both of them are multi-colors, but well, one is a marble shapes and another one is multi-sized glitters. For today's look, I'm going to use number one. I love the color variations and I love the orders that they put the lightest to the darkest. See the dome shapes. Their glitters are like a jelly type, so it's super soft, slightly bouncy texture that is full of different colors and sizes of glitters. You can see all the different color depending on where it hits and reflects against the light. To complete my eye makeup, I'm going to use Stary Eyes AM9 to PM9 Slim Gel Eyeliner. It also comes with very thin lid, which is two millimeter very smooth so it won't irritate your eyes and it's also highly pigmented. We've brought in three of the most versatile shades. Number one, matte black. Number two, matte brown. Number three, walnut brown. This is my daily eye makeup so I'm going to try number three, walnut brown. It's highly pigmented so I don't think I need the gel eyeliners after that. We have very popular product from Lily by Red, so I just want to show you. AM9 to PM9 Survival Pen Liner. Ta -da! This is a pen liner. And again, their tip is very, very fine, which is 0.1 millimeter. It comes with three different shades. Number one, number two, number three. And it's not too difficult to draw your lines. Just one stroke will do everything. This is a super waterproof eyeliner. It won't be smudged with water or oils. And to complete my cute makeup look, I'm going to draw the Agiosat underneath of my eye. As you may know, Agiosat is a puffiness right under the eyes. So that creates like cuteness and innocent look. But unfortunately, I don't have a natural Agio size, so I'm just gonna draw it with Lily by Red Smiley Agio Side Eyeliner. The Agio Side Eyeliner has two sides, so one is a contouring and another end is the highlight. It comes in two different shades to naturally contour depending on your undertone. So number one, smile smile, and number two, wink wink. Using the contouring end first, I'm going to squint just a little bit to see my egg set and then follow the shadow and draw right under my egg set. Then using the other side which is a highlighter side, just give a bit of the touch at the center to highlight your egg set. And onto the blusher. I'm so excited to try this heart shaped blusher from Lily by Ray. The blusher calls Love Bim Cheek Bam. As you can tell from the name, this is a balm type blusher. Ooh. It gives your complexion a dewy finish, giving off a very fresh look to the skin. Oh, I feel like to try the red one as well. I'll do the red one on this side. <laughs> I love this finish it gives because it's supposed to give a very pretty watercolor effect to the cheek. Ah, uh, I can tell the difference. So the red one is more pink base and the coral one is more orange base. It's more natural look. I'll go with the coral for today's makeup. Really nicely blended into my skin. If you want to get a vibrant color, you can add more colors to it. And last but not least, we can't forget about our lip tint. We have Lily by Red's Mood Liar Velvet Tint. Again, they put a lot of effort to their packaging. It's so pretty, right? 
and you can see the colors from the packaging so you don't have to open every single bottle to check the color. I love how this velvet tint has a slanted dough foot applicator. It's easy to spread the color evenly on the lips. It comes with four different colors. Number 10, maybe my one side love. Calm nude beige that has a very warm undertone. Number 11, maybe my puppy love is like a cool pink mauve color. So I think these two color can be also used as a base or um, if you want to get more like a natural look you can just go with these two colors. Number 12, maybe my fast love, brick color. It comes with a bit of orange undertone. Number 13, maybe my past love, which is very bright plum colors. So that's also suits for the cool tone beauties. And the formula is actually very soft, much like velvet. Because it is a matte formula, I thought it would be leave my lips feeling quite dry. But it's actually very moisturizing, comparing to the other matte lipsticks. I like the smell, it smells like candy. And it stains really well. Ta-da! My makeup look for today is completed. I'm so happy with how it turned out and everyday makeup look that looks so fresh and dewy. My personal favorite out of all pretty makeup products from Really By Red is Mood Keyboard Eye Palette. I love how they put all the colors that I need for my eye makeup in one cute palette. I'm actually very impressed with Lily by Red's makeup products and will definitely be adding them into my everyday makeup routine. I hope you enjoy my first impression and swatches and getting red with me using Lily by Red. And don't forget to like and subscribe. Until next time, bye beauties, let's be pretty!